Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Batman Superman World's Finest number 31. That's right, we are at 31 issues of this fantastic, beautiful series. Uh, let's talk about the creative team because we do have uh, uh, some changes around. Uh, this is continues to be written by Mark Wade, and this is a new story, as you can see. Uh, but we have Adrian Gutierrez on art who had been previously been doing uh, Blue Beetle. Uh, we also have Tamara Von Villain in Colors, who I believe recently just won a Ringo Award, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and Steve Wands on Letters. Uh, and as I mentioned, and as you can see from the cover, uh, we have a new story with Eclipso, a character that I've never actually read anything about. And if I do, I don't remember. Maybe the Forever Evil stuff had Eclipso in it. Uh, so let's take a look at the synopsis here. A uh, brand new arc begins as rising artist Adrian Gutierrez joins Mark Wade. Darkness falls. Eclipso, master of light and shadow, has risen to plague the world of the finest, uh, the world's finest team of Superman and Batman. Powered like never before, Eclipso threatens to plunge the Earth into a state of eternal night. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love that premise. It is. I don't know. I don't know Eclipso's powers. Like I said. But I think Mar Wade's been using this series because it is in sometime in the past. Uh, he's been using it to kind of retcon or reorganize or maybe restructure or re even even reinvent uh, some of these characters. So I hope that Eclipso gets that kind of treatment where it really makes him uh, a very menacing villain. Um, I think his powers are sort of magic based. Uh, so that'll definitely put a damper on both Batman and Superman as they are both weak in their own way against magic. Uh, you know, Batman doesn't fully understand it. Superman just straight up weak against magic. Uh, we get to see a lot more characters too from the Justice League uh, and a really fun surprise towards the end of the issue. So yeah, this is this one is quite enjoyable. I really, 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 really enjoyed uh, just going through this one in the New York. This has been one of the series that has been the most consistent across like just the the dc um dawn of dc era so that's really cool to see um so let me give you uh, uh let's take a look at the art so you can see exactly what i'm talking about if you haven't read blue beetle this will be a really fun introduction to adrian gutierrez's art and here you have it as i mentioned of course uh just really cool stuff you get to see a lot of the Members of the Justice League, they've gathered to watch an eclipse. Uh, now, don't worry. The the tower has a, a polar, polarized uh, a screen, so they, they're not staring directly at it. It is all safe. Uh, but yeah, um, Gutierrez's art, very expressive. I think there's a little bit of manga influence as well uh, that I talked about when I, was doing, when I was doing reviews for the Blue Beetle series. So that's definitely there, and it's really fun to see. Whoops. Uh, and let's go to the next page here. Uh, one other thing that I really enjoy about Gutierrez's work is uh, the angles and the kind of like perspective points of view that he chooses to bring in, right? Just really dynamic, really cool. Uh, even the characters, they have a, a little bit of um, just very, very stylized character models in each of the each of the panels. So I love it. I love these shots from like you know, up looking, up looking up at the characters. Uh, those just are really cool. They they show you a really interesting perspective, uh, and things get interesting from there. Uh, Mark Waite very efficiently gives you a quick synopsis of Eclipso's powers, at least the stuff that is important for the story. So that's always fun to see. Uh, and yeah, I I just I love the series. Probably pound for pound, one of my favorite series uh, in both Marvel and DC. Uh, so very happy to see it continue. Uh, I'm very happy to see how it continues to also reshape the Mar the DC universe as we go forward. So uh, if you have read this, let me know what did you think about this story. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, everyone. I picked up the main cover, just the regular one. Uh, so yeah, but if you picked up a different one, let me know down in the in the comics uh, down in the comments. Uh, and please stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.